Hello friends! Welcome back to Mini Violin Lessons with Dr. Wright. Today we will be learning how to pull a straight bow on the violin. It's important to pull a straight bow when playing the violin because it will help you achieve a clear tone. If your bow is not straight and you were playing at a diagonal motion such as this, and our tip went over the fingerboard, our sound would get quieter. And if we play with the diagonal bow like this, did you hear that sound? It kind of had a squeaky sound and that is because it went over the bridge, creating an unpleasing tone. However, if you are able to play with a straight bow, like so, you have a more clear tone. One way to ensure that you're playing with a straight bow is by keeping your bow parallel to the bridge. There are many ways one can teach a student how to draw a straight bow and keep their bow parallel to the bridge. One exercise I use is by going over shapes and letters with my students. Today I will go over the letter exercise I do, but first we must talk about the amount of bow I teach my beginners to use. When teaching my students how to draw a bow on the string, I do not teach them how to use the whole bow at once. I start with them by using half of their bow. I often place a tape in the middle of their bow as a represent point, and I have them use the upper half. When I find that it is the perfect letter L shape, I find where that is on their bow, and then I place the tape there, and it's often in the middle of the bow or in the vicinity of the middle of the bow. After we tape the student's bow, we begin learning the arm movement needed to draw a straight bow. I describe this movement using two letters. I like to use letters with my students because I feel that it is a good reference point for them visually, especially for the little ones because they're often learning their ABCs. The first shape we make when we're trying to draw a straight bow is the letter L. The second shape we use when trying to draw a straight bow, I describe as the letter I. We go from the letter L to the letter I, back to the letter L. I do these shapes because it helps a student from swinging their elbow behind them. We do not want them to swing their elbow behind them because then they will be bowing diagonally and it will not be a straight bow, which means their sound will be going in and out. And that's something we do not want. When moving our bow, I teach them to move one part of their arm, which is their forearm. We want the forearm to move out to the letter I, back into the letter L, out to the letter I, and back in to the letter L. Now let's try this with our bow. Let's set our bow up in our belly button. Let it grow out of our belly, tip at the ceiling, bring the horse hair, and let's our imagine our violin is on our shoulder, to our shoulder, good. Now, we're gonna make these two shapes when drawing our bow. We, have, we start with the letter L, we move out to the letter I, back to the letter L, and out to the letter I. This helps us draw a straight bow. Back to the letter L and out to the letter I. Now this is not a perfect letter I, but we can use our imagination for the concept. Back to the letter L and out to the letter I. Back to the letter L and out to the letter I. Wonderful. <laughs> I even have a little mark on my shoulder. Now, let's put it all together. Let's set our bow up in our belly button. Hand on the shoulder, plank position feet, violin out, turn, bring the button to our ear, down, let our bow grow out, tip at the ceiling so that you can get a great view of your bow. Bring it to the middle of the bow where you make the letter L. Good job. Now let's draw the bow down to the letter I, then back up to the letter L. Down to the letter I, back up to the letter L. Good. Down to the letter I, back up to the letter L. Continue on. I'll play something else while you keep focusing on drawing a straight bow. How 
how did that feel? There are many exercises that you can do to help ensure that you draw a straight bow. And actually, many of these exercises are needed because our body isn't used to doing this type of motion. This is not something you learn in just one 10 minute lesson, but you have to practice this every day, even if you've been playing the violin for years. You don't learn how to walk in a day, right? It takes time for your muscles to develop to learn how to walk. And this is the same thing. You don't learn how to draw a straight bow in a day. You don't learn how to play the violin a day. But instead, we practice every single day so that we can play the violin to the best of our ability. Thanks for tuning in with Mini Violin Lessons with Dr. Wright. Bye, friends.